Right, so this is um, biology paper two revision. So in this presentation, I'm going to revise with you cell specialization, nutrition, and enzymes. So let me not forget, if you are new to this channel, kind subscribe for more videos like this. So the first question, which is question A, Roman is saying, define the term tissue. So before I define the term tissue, let me try to elaborate something on this part here. When we talk of uh, cell organization, cell organization starts from organelles, followed by cells, then the collection of uh, cells, they are going to form a what? A tissue. Then collection of tissues, they are going to form an organ. Then collection of organs, they are going to form the organ system. Then lastly, organ system, they are going to form an organism. So now when you talk of uh, a tissue, a tissue is a group of uh, similar cells that function together as a unit. That's all. The group of similar cells that function together as a unit. So that is uh, the first one. That is for the first one, which is Roman numeral number, number one. Then as for Roman numeral number two, it is saying, state the two functions of xylem tissue. So xylem tissue is found in the vesicular, in the vesicular bundles. It is found in the vesicular bundles with the phloem tissue. So the first function is uh, the conduction of water and mineral salts. Conduction of water and mineral salts. Then the last one, the xylem provide mechanical support to the plant. The xylem provide mechanical support to the plant. Then as for B, it is saying figure 7.1 shows some cells in a tissue. So the first one is saying name this tissue. So this tissue is called deciliated tissue. It is called deciliated tissue. So what enables me to identify that this one is the seeded tissue? This is because of uh, the presence of uh, the cilia. Okay, the presence of the cilia. Then as for Roman number two is saying, this tissue lines the oviduct. So the other name for the oviduct, it is the fallopian tube. Usually the fallopian tube is found in the in the female reproductive organ, which is the vagina. So the question is saying, uh, suggest its function in this tube. So the function of uh, the ciliated tissues or the ciliated tissue in the oviduct or the fallopian tube, it is to move the egg or the fertilized egg toward the uterus for implantation. It is to move the egg or the fertilized egg toward the uterus for implantation. There are so Roman number three is saying, name another tube that is lined by this tissue. Name another tube that is lined by this tissue. So we all know that this series these serrated tissues are also found in the nozzle cavity. So I'm going to say it is found also in the respiratory tract. It is also found in the respiratory tract. And its function in the respiratory tract, it is to trap dust particles. Okay. It is to, it is to trap and sweep out dust 
particles containing what? Mucus. Then as for Roman number number 4 is saying, which chemical, which chemical in cigarettes interferes with the working of um, with the working of this type of tissue? So the answer here is going to be acron. Acron? Yes, it is acron. Then the next one, it is coming from uh, nutrition and it is saying, the diagram below shows an organism in a certain kingdom. So this organism it is called the mushroom and patribot E, it is called the lysoid. So the first question is question A saying, name the kingdom to which the organism belongs. So this organism belongs to fungi, to kingdom fungi. It belongs to the kingdom fungi. Then as for B, it is saying, state the mode of nutrition for the organism. So the mode of nutrition for this organism, it is saprophytic nutrition, saprophytic nutrition. Then as for C, Roman number one is saying, name the part labeled E. Name the part labeled E. So part labeled E is called the lysoid. It is called the lysoid. Then as for Roman number two is saying, state two functions of the part labeled E. So the function of the lysoid. So the first one I'm going to say, to anchor the mushroom, since here I'm having the mushroom. So I'm going to say to anchor the mushroom on the substrate. To anchor the mushroom on the substrate. Then the next one I'm going to say, to secrete extracellular enzymes which hydrolyze starch into maltose. To secrete extracellular enzymes which hydrolyze starch into maltose. Then the next one is coming from uh, enzymes. So the question is saying uh, the graph below illustrates the effect of pH on certain protein digesting enzymes. S and T. So we have the length of substrate breakdown and also the pH value. Usually the pH is lent from 0 up to 14. And the pH of 0 up to 6.9, it is called the acidic pH. Then the pH of 7, it is called the neutral pH. The neutral pH. Then from 7.9 up to 14, it is called the alkaline pH. So now here we are having two enzymes. We are having enzyme S and enzyme T. Now, enzyme S is operating under acidic pH or acidic medium because it is having the optimum pH of 2. Then enzyme T is operating under alkaline pH because it is having the optimum pH of um, somewhere there like 11. Okay. So in this part here, the first question is saying um, name enzymes S and T. So in this part here, they are just asking you to give them any enzyme which can operate under acidic medium. So I'm going to give you um, trypsin, okay? Try, trypsin. So trypsin works under acidic medium. Then as for T, as for T, I'm going to give you amylase. Amylase categorize, categorizes um, carbohydrates under alkaline medium. Then as for B, it is saying, which is Roman number one, name the part of the alimentary canal where enzyme T is likely to be found. 
So I'm going to say it is likely to found in the mouth or duodenum because those areas are alkaline are alkalinity. Okay. Then the last one is saying explain your answer in B Roman numeral mono above. So in this part here, they are just asking you why enzyme T is likely to work well in the duodenum or in the mouth. So the reason being is um, this is because in the duodenum or in the mouth it is um, alkalinity or basic. It is alkalinity or basic. That's so. Okay. So I think I've made the mistake on uh, enzyme T. So let me control you. So as for enzyme T, let me just put pepsin, not trypsin, because trypsin works under alkalinity medium. So it is pepsin. So that was uh, the last one. Thanks for watching.